Throughout the interview, yeah. your eyeline two should be to each other. Okay. You're very specific now. This is not unscripted at all. Yeah. This is very scripted. Hi, welcome to Movie Phone Unscripted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't look anywhere but here. Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm Sandra Bullock, and I'm here with the very talented and handsome. 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 Hanson. You're very Jim Hanson. It's very, it's very handsome. His name's very Jim, Jim Hanson, Hanson in the film, but his real name. Oh, my real name is. I'm Julie McMahon. And we're here <clears throat> to answer some of the questions that you've presented to us, and we're also going to ask some of our own very personal questions. Very personal. Very and I'm going to be. The, I'm going to start with the first question. You are. Yes. Okay. So sit okay. back and relax. Oh, really? No, you can't look at the questions. Okay. Sit back. Yep. Good. Which is uh, more challenging, working in television or in film? Well, I think that every character poses its own challenges, and they're all kind of. They're just different, you know. Is the rapid pace of TV hard? Because don't you have to learn like 60 pages difficult. in a day? Yeah. Are you going to come on my show? I'm, show. I'm told you, I'm, I'm going to be the last <laughs> episode. I want to be the last episode, and I just get an, oh, it'd be like overhauling. Yeah. You just, I'm, everything? I, yeah, I'm, you turn everything. me into like, everything. like Gina Lola yeah. Brigida. I don't know, what would we turn her into? There's a couple things that could grow. Oh, yeah? Okay, like what? Like a chia pet? Chia pet, love. Yes, love. Love. Don't you just love them? How many people have, have wanted one of those? You see the commercial, you go, oh, I'm going to buy that for someone I've else. You've never had a chia pet? No. No. I, wow. I had a German I mother. Chia a pet seems. used to get these little. Don't so they do in Australia pets. when you do this? You get the chia pet. You do that and you get a chia pet. Wow. Oh, yeah. I, I used to grow onions out of my chia pet. <clears throat> in fact, I had one. I got the other one the other day for my daughter, but it didn't work. I don't think upset. this is anything American that Chia Ty pets are wanted very to know. To the Australian. Are they I'm really? sorry, what was the. Yeah. What? The, the difference between television and film, which is The hard. difference between television and film, I'm glad you're keeping on track. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the difference. It's much faster. There's no comparison. Television is. Television yeah. is much faster. And it's a lot. Uh, doing TV is that eventually, you know, you do it for six months, yeah. nine months, ten months, yeah. you know, and it's exhausting. Yeah. And particularly like my show, I get, I talk a lot on my show, and it's all rapid fire dialogue, yeah. you know what there I mean? There is a great rhythm that you guys have. And exactly, it's that rhythm you want to keep, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and it's tough. Premonition is a psychological thriller. True. What was most attractive about this genre and this film in particular? Hmm. Um, I mean, I've always liked the older thrillers, like the Hitchcockian thrillers, where they couldn't rely on, you know, bells and whistles and things to mm -hmm. sort of pop out. Um, I, I admired being able to silently mess with your head, uh, mm -hmm. whether it's the creak of a floor or is there something looming, is there mm -hmm. something missing mm -hmm. from the story, will someone find out something, a secret mm -hmm. that's being kept, and I just, I've always wanted to do that, but I didn't really find them, and then Premonition came along. interesting is your background being from Australia you worked a lot and it's amazing how varied and different your work has been um, do you feel like now finally everything that you've worked for is is paying off and catching up to you do you feel like now you feel good do you feel grounded or do you still feel like I need to prove something I still feel like I need to prove something oh. But I don't feel like I need to prove something to anybody else, just to, to myself, just you. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I've certainly worked a lot, but there's so many characters. I mean, inside of all of us actors, I feel like there's so many different personalities and yeah. so many characters. In fact, inside of a lot of people I know that aren't actors, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. 
And I just love studying people. I love studying humanity, and I love studying mannerisms. I love study. I mean, I find people fascinating and interesting. Mm -hmm. And so there's so many different things that I want to portray, and there's so many messages that I'd like to get across that yeah. I feel like I don't know if I could ever fulfill all of those. Yeah. That was a beautiful question, by the way. Hmm, just pulled it I might out have to borrow that one. <laughs> Talking about somebody who's from somewhere else, where were you That's born? That's not the question. No, but where were you born? Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C.? Yeah. But where did you grow up? Germany. 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 Yeah. The director was German as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, the DP so was German. DP. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Or composer. Anybody else? Composer. Uh, the composer was German. Good. Anybody else in the movie German as well? Vincent Stanschen Schnitzel. No, Vincent Stanschen Schnitzel was, <laughs> no, was of Austrian descent. Oh, uh, Austrian. Okay. Mm. Well, Very different. there was a lot of German uh, There wasn't bantering. a lot. There was a lot oh, of German bantering on our set. Not really. No. Whenever, whenever, whenever somebody got like heated or something, or somebody wanted to communicate something <laughs> that they probably didn't want somebody else to hear, it would go in German, and I'd be like, "Oh, oh great." I think there's a Obviously question didn't. for me that oh. I think has disappeared. Uh, were there challenges in the filming uh, movie in which time is non-linear? Oh. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 No. That I think I said <clears> earlier. <throat> films. You know, you can have a 60-day shoot. And each one of those days in those 60 days, as you know, is shot completely out of order. Um, so you as the actor and the director and everyone else has to keep track of what's happened before the scene you're getting ready to shoot that makes this shooting the scene possible. You know, you have right. to backtrack emotionally, go, this hasn't happened yet, so I can't <clears throat> Where'd be feeling this. Where'd you come this. from? Exactly. Where um, are you going? All those levels. What information did I what have? Did I not yeah. know? And then on top of that, for this film, then my days being out of order for the character was even that much more confusing mm -hmm. and then finding the different levels of have I been grieving am I at the second part am I of my grieving am I angry now am mm -hmm. I am I waking up after having cried all day then you got to get yourself to that place mm -hmm. calm down go to sleep and then it was it wasn't a pretty it wasn't a pretty time for me I'm I, you know Menon loved it he loved the fact that I was falling apart mm -hmm. and I was like this is great I think you should do this this is right. where you should be and I said no this is not where this I should, should be. be ever yeah ever again yeah. so what um, what was your favorite part about shooting the movie I think um, our crew mm -hmm. what they just had gone through mm -hmm. with Katrina and people coming with the clothes on their back no house their family and and the humor that they the stories that they would tell us remember our mm -hmm. props guys and mm -hmm. Just I, their resilience in the moment mm. made me so happy. Mm -hmm. Unlike the stories that they would tell, and they said, we can joke about it because we were there. Yeah. So it was the whole experience, I think, you had to stop yourself and go, I'm complaining about this, yeah. when I can look to any one of these people on I this know. set and go, they have nothing. They have nothing. And they're here and happy to work, and yeah. they're having a great time. So I think just the... Just sharing that lifetime, those three months, I think were three really good months spent in my lifetime. And just to think of losing all of that, yeah. I just, I mean, what an extraordinary challenge it would be just to emotionally and physically just get back on your feet and start walking properly again, yeah. you know? And they trucked all the way north to, Louis, to Shreveport. Shreveport. We were supposed to shoot this in New Orleans, yeah. you know? And the, um, the Louisiana Film Commission was very generous in helping people and yeah. you know, putting people up and all that kind of stuff. And, it's, it, uh, you know what? That state took just to watch it come together. Tried its right? best to take care of its I mean, own. To take care of its own. It was just so beautiful. Um. Oh, oh it's your outro. We're done already. It's your outro. I was just starting to warm up. Yeah. Well, this this has to be fast paced. They don't have to get. They're going to edit us down. So we're right. just going to get little clips. Yeah. Oh. So um. They could maybe like a, do a three part thing. You know what I'm saying? Of actors who are talking who think they're saying yes. really important things. Rabbit, when they're rabbit not. Fire, but when they're not. not exactly. Yeah. I think we get enough of that on the news. Anyway, I would like to thank you, Julian. Yes. Thank you very yes. much, Julian. Thank so you. nice, to, so nice pleasure. to have you here Sandra. on Sandra. some movie phone. Sandra. Sandra, it's Sandra. wonderful to be here. Thank potato, you. potato. It was just an honor working with you. And it brought us seriously. We had a great time. We had a great experience. And we hope that you guys go see Premonition because yes. a lot of good people worked on it. And I think, amazing. and he's amazing. Oh, I what after you? We that. say you're great. I wasn't no, you're good. That. Say goodbye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Telling you on the road. <laughs> <laughs> I do all the tambourine. You get like a top act. Oh, that's very unscripted. It's very unscripted. Who cares? It's unscripted. Let's go again. Do we want. <laughs> I think we can do a show in Australia.
Oh, yeah? Yeah, don't you think? Like what kind of show? I don't know. Like I think a, we could do it here. We're like a Regis and Kelly. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at him. Sorry. I'm good at this. Uh, you are a good cocktail. Yeah. Cocktail. <laughs> <laughs>